Oh, doesn't that look good? Doing what you have to to stay cool on a day like today. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Ron Fowler. We're going to talk to Megan in a little bit. If you've been outside today, you know it is hot. The heat is not just unpleasant. At times, it can be also very dangerous. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Rachel Miner spoke to a doctor on how to beat the heat and has more. She joins us live. Rach. You can see behind me here on the bank sign just how hot it is. It just showed 94 degrees and it is quite steamy out here. Now, I haven't been out here very long, but I am by far ready to get back into the AC. I'm pretty sure my photographer would also agree. But what exactly are the dangers of being exposed to the heat so long and how do you protect yourself? I spoke to a doctor to find out. The heat is back in full force. While some might call it the dog days of summer, the heat is not just miserable, it can be deadly. Confusion, uh, inability to sweat, uh, passing out or losing consciousness, uh, and even worse would be seizure activity. Those would be the main symptoms that you would, would find. Dr. John Bonta, an ER specialist at Brian West, is describing heat stroke. It's the body's inability to cool itself down, and Dr. Bonta says it's a real possibility in this extreme heat. Heat stroke can be deadly and requires immediate medical attention. It's not just people who work outside who are at risk of developing it, but kids playing outside in the heat as well. So what can you do to avoid a trip to the emergency room this summer with your child? Frequent breaks, get them out of the sun, get them into the shade, get them into a cool environment, um, and then just making sure that you're watching their activity so that they're not uh, that they don't have the appearance that they're getting heat exhaustion. Staying inside in a cool environment is always recommended, but if you do have to be outside for long periods of time, wear light colored clothing. It will reflect the sun's rays instead of absorbing it and making you hotter. Some other things to keep in mind for adults, stay away from alcohol and caffeine as those will naturally dehydrate your body. So what's Dr. Bonta's best advice for ways to beat the heat? My three best tips would be hydrate, take frequent breaks, and wear loose fitted clothing. Now we are staying hydrated out here. I've got my water bottle. It's almost gone, but I'll be getting more. And after this rod, Lee and I will be heading back into the truck and blasting AC because it is hot. So be glad you're there in studio and not out here. Good to see you're back in the to shade you. as well. All right. Well, welcome you back to the uh, station here in a little bit.